Alright, alright, what it is everybody Welcome to another video Coming to you from uh, good old Texas over here So, uh, yeah, today man, I just want to make a video on uh, how, how to retouch uh, a summertime You know, photo, you know Photos that you take in the summertime, you know, bright sunny day or whatever like that, you know, maybe a little bikini action, whatever. So it's you know, it's a model in the one piece or whatever. It's a bright sunny day, whatever. I am using when I shot this, I did use one strobe, but like kind of pretty low power on the on her right side, right here, on her right side. So, but it was still like a pretty sunny day, whatever. So just this is uh, how I would edit a, a photo on a sunny day or whatever so i don't know maybe y'all could uh, you know cop this look is it, since it's a summer look i'm not gonna <laughs> i guess you know my photo is always gonna be like super colorful so i'm gonna go the colorful route and just you know really bring out the colors and everything like that because yeah this summer man there's no there's no need to have a or drab and sad colors and all that good stuff so uh here we go man i'm gonna you know let's uh let's, let's do it okay so first things first okay also i'm gonna put all the my settings and all that good stuff on the, the screen as usual so uh let's uh let's get going all right first thing open a new layer okay so i mean if anybody's wondering what this layer is right here already and i've already edited a photo before so i'm just closing everything and just kind of starting over but this layer right here you know she <laughs> her outfit is see-through so i had to kind of remove you know suggest if i don't want youtube to you know block my video but you know here, uh, here we go so okay so we're gonna open the layer and just you know spot healing brush which is you know J on the keyboard for everybody and just kind of clean up some of the stuff so you know stuff that are kind of distracting or whatever so should I yeah I'll remove it whatever she won't be too mad okay so you know uh, go ahead and just clean up so sure it has you know pretty good skin so lucky on my part so let's just go ahead and just clean up all the stuff, I guess. Well, while I'm doing this, might as well ask, you know, if you uh, you drank water today, hug your, hug your, hug your loved ones or something, you know, tell them they're cool, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whatever, you know, tell them how pretty they are or something. Just, you know, do something nice, man. It feels good. or make somebody else feel good. You know, so. Uh, I'm just going to uh, clean up. Oh, so, so, since it's like a, it's not a fashion or whatever look or something like that. So, you don't, this is not going to be, I'll, you know, you want to leave some stuff. Not make, you know, not make stuff look too artificial or whatever. So, just, you know, kind of pick what you want to, eh. Let's see. So yeah, she's she's a um, she's a great model, man, and she has a as you can see, she has you know veiny hands or you know veins in the leg and stuff. But that's just the way she is naturally, and like screw it, that's the you know there's no it's a so we're gonna clean up some stuff and just kind of you know not overdo it and try to do too much. Uh, let me see her face. Just this breast size over here. Uh, so my skin's already pretty good, but I'm gonna do some with the mixer brush, and this I'm gonna kind of smooth it over since it's not a photo you're gonna be like zooming into too much, I guess. So uh, just remove a little stuff. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh, I gotta fix that bikini right there. Okay. Uh, I think I'll do a. Let me see. Let me zoom out a little bit. Turn it off and on. Okay. So, let me see. So, we'll fix that bikini right there. A little loose one. So, let's just name another one. I know most YouTubers, I guess, they'll, or most people like name their layers and stuff, but I usually can know, but I guess it's good to name your stuff. It's, it's not a bad habit to have, but I usually just. I don't I don't have that many layers open where I get kind of I get kind of uh, lost you know in what I'm doing so <clears throat> but yeah for that uh, all right so let's clean this up over so I'm probably gonna use spot healing brush and probably clone stamp so just let me see how good spicy so use that spot healing brush man you see kind of 
I don't know. It's not good at guessing too much. It's doing too much. Uh, let me switch to the stamp, clone stamp. So let me just, you know, S on the keyboard and uh, use Alt or Option, I guess, when you just kind of sample. So, okay. So I guess I got kind of lucky with the. That is just clear blue behind her. All right. Let me zoom in. Enhance image. I'm just kidding. Uh, let me get that little shape. Uh, yeah, give that little shape. Uh, all right. Uh, ooh, got that good shape. All right. Let's see. All right, that looks a lot better. Let me see what it looks. Yeah, look. <laughs> it's crazy how when you like retouch stuff, you don't realize how terrible it looks till you like fix it, and you're like, oh, I was gonna, I shouldn't have let that. Wow. Okay. So I said it looks a lot better. That looks, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're done with that one. So this next one I'm gonna do. I'm okay. I don't have a tutorial, I guess, on frequency separation. Which I don't, I don't know. I wanted to make one, but everybody and their mom has already made one, so I don't know. It's easy to find how to do it, but I already have an action for it. But I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll make one. But frequency separation this is what I'm going to use on this one. So on this next step, so I have my frequency separation action already made. So let me play it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I want this. I'll delete this black and white layer. So okay. So frequency, I'm gonna go to my low, you know, because you have the high and the low. So I'm gonna go be on my low layer right here. Okay, then I'm gonna go to my brush tool. Now I'm not gonna use the regular brush, right? I'm gonna go to my, my mixer brush. Now this is my settings so for Mr. Brush. I have this on custom. I have my the weight on five, load on 75%, mix on 90%, flow on 100%, right? It's what I have my settings for. So while I have it on the low layer, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of brush but like slightly because I'm using I'm using a I'm using a pad or whatever so I'm just gonna kind of slightly brush over but like slightly you know not too much just to kind of brush over my legs a little bit make it smooth but not too not too smooth right, so just kind of okay, go right here where I have a little wave right there and just kind of so I'm just gonna gently go over all of this all right uh, let's see go over it okay uh, just to brush maybe get an elbow a little bit there you go and just kind of gently go over everything so uh, I'll, I'll keep the same thing and just leave it on the face you know and do it on the face too so you know, just kind of gently brush I'm not gonna press down on the pen too hard so just oh no I'll do the before and after so you kind of see the difference let's just give it that all right Get the knee a little bit more. Okay, let me see before and after. So, yeah, so, okay, so this is before. And after. So, we just, that's how, that's how I do that. So, just kind of before and after. Give the skin a little more. I don't know, just enhance the photo a little bit. So, okay. So, that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm not going to go too much into it. Okay. So, now we're going to do like the color. And this is where you kind of, you know, this is this is kind of up to you, but this is, you know, I guess this is kind of the tools that I use or just so you can kind of have a direction. You can kind of mess with whatever you want. So, usually I do color lookup and I go right here. This is like 
the ones that are already on Photoshop and I like to drop blues and I go to my blending mode and I go to luminosity and I leave it alone like that leave it at 100 percent okay next one I'm gonna go <clears throat> it's my gradient map and uh by the way this is Photoshop 2020 so if you have like an older version some things might look different but this is like the 2021 whatever so okay so I'm gonna click this one right here that one it's gonna be on the basic so if you wanna if you click on it and it shows so it's gonna be on the basics and this black and white one right here so then again I'm gonna go in my blended modes and I'm gonna switch to luminosity I'm gonna leave this about I don't know 50 50 percent okay the next okay so this is where you you kind of have freedom to kind of do whatever kind of tone you want in this one so go to go here and now I'm gonna go to a photo filter now you see kind of like the over the tone that it like gives the whole photo so you could just try different ones and just see what they look like you know so so usually I like to use the green one that's my favorite one to use if I don't like color green but like for some reason I like this filter a lot okay cyan or cayenne however you say that color I probably should google that Cy cayenne cyan like the blues you have everything the violet so you can kind of try so let's try to you know what let's try let's try cyan I guess so okay so also okay so we'll try cyan and we could just switch them back and just see which one looks better so and switch different ones after we do further uh, adjustments so okay so now that we have cyan on there so now I'm going to go to my hue and saturation okay so you have your master right here right with this photo I have there's many different colors so I could pick each color individually or I could just leave so I'm going to try just leave it on master and just drag saturation and see what what it does when instead of doing it individually and just kind of see so let's kind of see how much okay so we all right we got some color in there see so we yeah that's not okay that's not bad okay so yeah so okay yeah she got a nice little tan action going and the sky is nice and blue whatever the trees are green whatever so okay so that's uh, that's about good right there i'm gonna stop right there or we could just do individual colors but i'm gonna leave it on master and just do that one like that right there okay so next <clears throat> next i'm gonna I'm, I, I really still want more color which is weird or whatever but let's try and see how ridiculous we can get with the colors okay so yeah vibrance just turn it up is that too much Nah, it's not too much it didn't do too much okay next selective color i usually do the same thing on this one but because i don't know it works for me so i go to the blacks on on that one and i just get one right here two right here on magenta minus 10. do another one making my shot ah, you know what i'm gonna minus 15. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now also so now that we've done this, we can also go back to filter and just try different ones and see what, what change. Like and try a different one and see how different it's gonna look. Right. So you see? So you could just check out different ones and see what they look like. Just try something out. So see what red looks like. Hell no. Okay, orange. Yeah. That blue's looking good though. Yellow. Nah. Uh let's see. Green. Say my favorite one, man. I look, man, I look good right there, boy. Okay, uh, let's see, go back to cyan. Okay, so we could just try a different tone. So yeah, cyan. That's what the blue looks like. Why the hell is that blue so mad ugly? Okay, violet. I don't know who likes violet, but they they out there. I'm just playing. If you like violet, it's a cool, it's a cool color. Okay, cyan. We'll go back to cyan. We'll leave it. Oh, man, that that green though. Try it one more time. Uh, okay, now we'll go back to cyan because that's what we originally did. Okay, so we'll leave it on the cyan one or whatever. So that's that, that's as far as I'm going to go with color correction and those. So now, what I'm going to do is open a new layer and I'm going to go to image, uh, apply image, leave it as it is and just click OK. All right, this better not take too long. I'm going to be mad. Okay, so right click on that layer and just go to convert to a smart object. Come on, Lee. All right. All right, now they want smart up, so I'm gonna go to filter. 
I'm gonna go to that camera raw. Okay, and again, like people, most people like doing this in the beginning, but I like doing it towards the uh, towards the end. It's just it just always worked better for me. So also, whenever I'm here, usually I'll just click on auto and kind of see what it looks like. Most of the time, Photoshop doesn't do like a good job, but I'm just gonna put this on auto and see what what comes out of it. And just from there, if it looks like complete trash, then we <laughs> we'll just do it ourselves manually. So okay, I'll click on auto right here. Okay, so uh, whew, that's kind of so it reduced the highlights a lot. Exposure was fine. I put back on zero. Whew, that's that's a nah, heck nah, we'll do that ourselves. Yeah, okay. So I just click auto twice to go back to go back to normal. I like the exposure where it is. Let's see contrast. You know, let's give this, yeah, yeah, not too much. Okay, like that by seven. There's a fun part, just messing with it and seeing. I really want that. I want that. I want that blue to come out. We just the highlights a little bit. Uh, blue in the sky. Shadows. Do I want more shadows. No more. Yeah. Let's 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 add more shadows. Not too much though. I'm gonna say my ten. Okay. The whites. The whites. Okay. See, so I can increase the white and make it really bright out there, or just you know reduce it a little bit and bring out some of the blue in the sky. And also, whenever you do like on the camera raw filter, after you like click OK and it applies that thing, you can take the eraser, eraser tool, and go erase like parts of it that you don't want. But so you can you can do that, so you don't have to take the whole photo like that sometimes if you don't want. So okay, let's uh, take the blue. God, I kind of yeah, that's too much white. Okay, so okay, let's go right there. So the black, okay, that one that's. see okay clarity I like to mess with the clarity a lot Give it a little bit of all right 10 right there turn up I'm just playing it's already colorful enough unless you want to be crazy and go to now nah, I'm just god dog okay go back go back god dog Okay, three, three. All right, just a little bit more color. Whatever, it won't hurt. I won't mess with anything else. Okay, split tone and all this stuff. I won't mess with anything else right here. So you can cycle between and see your before and after. That's what that looks like. Okay, so yeah, that's that. I mean, that looks a lot, a lot better. Or you could just use Q on the keyboard and just cycle through them. So let's see, it shows you both sides, before and after, before and after, before and after. Okay, now back to normal. We could, yeah, we could use this one right here and just switch and see what changes you've made. No, so make sure you don't leave it like this because if you click OK, it's not going to apply everything. Make sure you put it back to where your settings are. OK, so push OK, apply it. So also, so if you have a part of it that like it did too much, you can just, you know, click your eraser tool and click this down here and just erase certain parts. You see, you see how that comes off, you see how that comes off. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, so okay, last thing we'll do is uh, sharpen this. All right, let's, uh, oh, okay, so already have an action photo. I'll do it again. So just pretty much go to put a new layer, apply image, click OK as is. Okay, right click, convert to smart object. Come on, okay. We'll go to filter, we'll go to sharpen, and we'll go to unsharp mask. And now you get to, okay, you can zoom in. Just kind of see how much sharpness is, see. See, so you can, you could do too much if you want. But don't be doing too much, come on now. What did I have it on, 130 something? So I'm not gonna sharpen the whole photo. Just gonna, Okay, so I'm, now I'm gonna push Alt or Option for you Mac users and just click the layer mask right here, right? And then go to my brush and switch it back. Make sure I switch back to my regular brush. Make sure my flow is at 100%. All right, and just uh, paint over whatever I want to sharpen. 
don't know if you can see it, but you should be able to. That's why I kind of made it kind of. Let me assume that's a. Uh, sharpen the clothes. Sharpen that tab. You know? It doesn't need too much sharpening or whatever. I don't want to sharpen the face too much. I want to leave it, you know, kind of soft like that. So, I don't know. That's, that's all I'm going to do. Okay, so. Let's uh, see that before and after. God, Lee, that's a lot of layers. Okay, so we'll see that before and after. So this is this is after. So before and after. Before and after. So it's, so it's giving it a nice little tone, you know. Uh, after, before. After, before. Alright, so that's it man. Hope y'all like the hope y'all like this video. I hope you can, you know, I don't know, y'all go out to the beach, take some bikini photos or something or whatever. And, uh, you know, take good photos and uh just you know make it nice and bright and give people that summer vibe, you know. That summer vibe, you know, so just uh so yeah, that's it. Uh so uh I'll catch y'all on the next one then. Alright, y'all get out of here.